Our next honoree is Mark Beffert, a fellow from the School of Business. Mark is the CEO of Robinson Park and Newmark Robinson Park and the Chief Operating Officer and Portfolio Manager of Square Deal Investments. A trusted partner and community leader, Mark's companies employ more than 200 people and his portfolio is valued in excess of $2 billion across nine markets from Oklahoma City to New York City. Mark's staff in Oklahoma City said this about working with him. Mark makes the health and wel welfare of his workforce his number one priority. He is passionate about his work and takes a hands-on approach to leadership. Mark is a trustee for Cassidy School and for the Washburn University Alumni Association Foundation. He serves on the boards for Myriad Gardens Foundation and the Greater Oklahoma uh, City Chamber. Among his Sigma Phi Epsilon fraternity brothers, Brent Johnson said, I witnessed your talents displayed in the redevelopment of downtown Oklahoma City following the tragic bombing of the federal building. I know that had a profound effect on you, and what a blessing it was to have you in a place to shape much of the restructuring and healing of that great city. Fraternity brother, um, fraternity brother, Terry Bopple said, uh, with the energy you displayed in serving SEGAP and when playing football here, I'm not surprised at all that you have had a successful career. Paul Ohm added, you were also the best dressed brother at all times, <laughs> bordering on outright preppy. <laughs> Mark, on behalf of the School of Business and Washburn Alumni Association, we're pleased to honor you as alumni fellow. Wow, those were some names from the past. I've not heard of uh, from Paul and those guys in quite some time. Um, boy, this is a, a, a surprise to me. When I got an email from Dean Solers, says, hey, you gotta call me, I got something I wanna talk to you about. That's a little scary for Dean because you know it's either he's wanting me to come talk or he wants me to give some money, so I was ready for that. <laughs> So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll uh, because I knew that they were you know, looking to do some uh, some renovations of Henderson Hall, which I, I think is on the plans. So that's going to happen. But uh, so I called him, and uh, he said he wanted to make me a fellow. And I said, man, you must got the you got the wrong guy. I mean, this is Mark Beffert. So uh, uh, truly, a shock to me. Um, you know, I guess uh, looking at the program is two o five. I'm two ten, so I'm the two hundred tenth. Fellow, I'm sure glad I'm not the last person on the list, 213th, because I'm a little superstitious. So, <laughs> Keith Robertson, you're 213, but I guess it's fitting since you're uh, you graduated in 2013. Also, I thought I looked at the list. And I'm going, I'm the oldest guy here, <laughs> but there was actually one Laura who's that right after me, graduated at 84. So, thank you for me not being a, the, the oldest guy on the list. So, uh, let me tell you, my uh, my path to Washburn is uh, a little different. So I uh, grew up in Dallas, Texas. And my parent, my dad worked for Sears Oil Parking Company, moved around a lot. So we moved after my freshman year to Topeka. So I went to Washburn Rural. And during my uh, middle of my junior year, we moved up to Chicago, Illinois. And when I went to Chicago, so I went to three different high schools. Um, so when I went to Chicago, I knew exactly where I was going to come back to Washington because it just felt like home. Um, so, so when I graduated, I actually uh, left the morning after graduation and came to Topeka and lived here until I started school that August. And, uh, you know, Washington gave me yeah, sorry, I'm getting so emotional, but Warspring gave me opportunity that I would never have ever had. And uh, I was not the best student. I uh, blame a little bit on uh, two guys sitting right over there. <laughs> Steve Heron and Jeff Burkett. And uh, we're fraternity brothers at SIGEPS, and they kept me out at night. I didn't want to go. <laughs> and uh, made me, and Brent Johnson, who said a little thing, he's not here today. I remember the day that he uh, had one of those little uh, red 
Fieros or whatever, and he ended up hitting a telephone pole because he was shouldn't have been drinking, but he was drinking a little too much and almost tore the car in half. But those guys corrupted me a little bit, and that's one of the reasons that I only graduated with a 3.02. So when when people tell me, uh, well, how'd you do in college? You know, I graduated with a 302. So I say it really fast, so they always see it at 302. So it's not something, but I will tell you what Warsburg gave to me was a foundation. It gave to me, uh, uh, it opened up my brain, which... I needed. I needed somebody to help push me along, and, and it did. A couple of teachers I distinctly remember is Gary Baker, my finance teacher, and I guess he was a teacher here for 35 or 40 years, and uh, I to this day remember, I can still picture him when I walk into class. I never missed his class. When I walk in, I just enjoyed, and he really made learning fun, and and maybe that's one of the reasons I'm in in. You know, I'm in the real estate business, but I'm in the finance business because real estate's about how you structure and finance and, and really work through work work your way through complex issues and stuff. So I you know, really kind of uh, given that. And I, and I remember uh, some of my econ tech teachers and law of diminishing returns and and uh, all the minor economic stuff that Mrs. Uh, or Professor Wolf taught me and stuff like that. So can't thank you enough. Uh, we'll always be passionate about this place. We'll always come back. We'll always support this place. And I lost my um, my voice a little bit because I, I sat to two different classes this morning. I didn't know what I was supposed to do here, so I, I go, "What's it?" I told Dean, "I said, what's the dress code?" He said, "Well, suit and tie." I said, "Okay, but I'm not going to wear a tie." <laughs> I put a suit on. I put a suit on. I said, what do, I, what do I have to do? I'd say, I see in the itinerary, I got a couple classes. You just like introduce me. He goes, no, it's your class. So I had to teach two classes today. I like, oh. I'm not sure if you guys have done that at all, but I have great appreciation for you teachers out there. That was hard. It was really hard today. But yeah, I sat in Henderson Hall, uh, 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 classroom 100. And it's the same as, I mean, I graduated 40 years ago. It's the same. We need the new, new facility. But, but, but I sat in there and I saw my exact same seat that I was in. We were just kidding a few minutes ago. I mean, Mrs. Wolf goes, this is uh, microeconomics. She goes, look to your left, look to your right. One of you three won't be here at the end of the semester. And she was right. I was one of the ones that stayed. So, so thank you very much. Appreciate this surprise shock. Not not deserving, but uh, I'll take it. Thank you.